Absolutely. Seth, I found this fascinating. And, and you signed this open letter as Kim's imaginary father. You criticized her for what she said during her interview with Oprah Winfrey on Oprah's Next Chapter. You said she believed in fairy tales, and you didn't like that so much. Could you please read for us some of what you wrote about that? Sure, sure. So, I don't know if your mother raised you to believe in fairy tales, but I can't imagine that your father did. He was a lawyer, after all, and lawyers don't believe in fairy tales. You talked in the interview about wanting babies, but that worried me, too, because the idea of babies is really easy to romanticize and idealize. Okay. All right, I hear you. I hear you, Seth. But my question, I guess, is why can't Kim believe in fairy tales? She wants the man. She wants the kids. Lots of women want what Kim's, Kim is wanting here. Why should she want something different? Well, fairy tales are bad news because they're not real. They're fantasy. So if you believe in fairy tales, it means that you have seriously distorted expectations and you're going to set yourself up to fail. You know, that's exactly what happened with uh, this marriage that, uh, you know, she filed for divorce after 72 days. Yeah, and it is interesting, sort of ironic, that a woman who bases her life in reality wants to live her life by fantasy. So I, I see your point there. And also, in this fascinating open letter to Kim on psychologytoday.com, you take issue with Kim dating Kanye West. And I'd love for you to read what you wrote about that. Sure. So I'm most worried about the new romantic relationship with Kanye West. At the very least, you're aware that it is a little soon to start another relationship. After Oprah asked if you'll marry Kanye, you appropriately responded, first, I need to get divorced. You know, your soon-to-be ex-husband Chris Humphreys appreciates the fact that you still remember him. Yeah, I'm sure. And I certainly don't think you're in the minority about Kim appearing to jump into Kanye's arms so soon after her 72-day marriage came to an end. But Seth, I mean, come on, we're talking about Kim Kardashian, reality star. Kanye has already appeared in her reality show. Is there really ever a right time for Kim to get back into the dating thing? Well, absolutely. You know, first of all, what she's doing, which is jumping into the arms of someone new after a relationship fails, is something that a lot of people do. The problem is it never works because you're not figuring out what you need to do differently the next time so that your relationship, you know, is more successful. Um, if I were working with Kim, I would say, Kim, you know, you really need a year. You really need a year to spend some time alone and reflect on um, what in your thinking was off that, that caused you to have such a really unsuccessful romantic relationship. Yeah, and, and I think it also speaks volumes about what her relationship with Chris Humphreys was really about and how right. seriously she was actually even involved with that thing. Also in your open right. letter to Kim, you take a shot at her for being too materialistic. What would you write about that? Right. And that's a shocker, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but what I say is when you have a lot of money, it's certainly within your right to spend it. But just because you have it doesn't mean, doesn't mean you need to spend so much of it on materialistic possessions. Yeah, and, and I'm totally with you on that. Of course, there are those out there who would say, well, she makes a lot of money. What's wrong with her spending it on stuff? Right. Well, you know, materialistic possessions, they're fine, they're fun, they make you happy for the moment, maybe even a little longer. But the truth is when you're wealthy and when you're famous, uh, the risk is that you start to lose touch with reality. Right. So people who are wealthy and famous need to invest more time and energy in things that have emotional value. I That's couldn't the key. agree with you more. Value. It's a great letter. Thanks so much, Dr. Seth Myers. I appreciate it.